We continue our reading of From the Heart, a daily devotional by author Ellen G. White. Today's reading, October 11, Christ in Light of the Law. Therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Romans 7, 12. Those who desire salvation should fix their mind upon the cross of Calvary. It is there that sinners may behold what sin has done. There they can see the infinite sacrifice that has been made to redeem them from the penalty of the broken law of God. As transgressors realize their lost condition, they see in Christ their only hope of salvation. From the cross, they learn precious lessons of the life of the Son of God, who gave himself for us. Calvary portrays the matchless attributes of the divine character. As they look to the cross, they will hate sin, for they will understand that it was sin that rejected, reproached, denied, scourged, and crucified the majesty of heaven. The cross of Calvary tells how Christ has magnified the law and made it honorable. It required the infinite merits of his blood to make an atonement for those who receive his love and follow in his footsteps. Sinners may obtain pardon and peace only through him who has loved us and who will wash us from our sins in his own blood. Those who have been convinced of sin before the law and have exercised repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ ceased to make void the law of God. We could never have known the value of Christ except through an understanding of the exalted claims of the law of Jehovah. We could never have appreciated the depth of the pit from which Christ has rescued us except through a comprehension of the excellence of the precepts of truth. Never could we have understood the depth of the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, unless we could have beheld the marvelous character of the law of heaven and earth. In the light of that holy law, sinners see the Redeemer as he is, full of mercy, compassion, goodness, and love. And by looking to Jesus and by contemplating his matchless love to such sinners as themselves, their hearts are filled with gratitude and heavenly peace. Although the law of God is of a holy and unchangeable character, the adversary of God and humanity, the first great rebel who transgressed its precepts in heaven, has led men and women in all ages to war against God. As sinners see that sin is the transgression of the law, and that the law is the foundation of God's government in heaven and in earth, they make haste to place their feet in the path of righteousness, that they may be without offense. Signs of the Times, July 6, 1888. This concludes our reading today of From the Heart. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. It's an honor to be with you this morning on such a great morning celebrating this great land and a great God. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. He land forgive. 
He bled and died to buy our pardon and empty grave is there to prove our Savior lives and because he 